All right, today we're gonna do a quick video on choosing a holster for uh, for carry. Um, you know, if you're if you're just getting into concealed carry or you know carry period, you know, there's a lot of holster options out there, and realistically, it all comes down to personal preference, state law in some cases, and you know what's what's comfortable, what you can be efficient with, and and you know and you know what you train with and what what you what you're best with. So my you know I have these holsters here along with another box of holsters that I've I've either picked up in trade. Most of these um you know I I know which holster I prefer and what I carry with so I kind of stick to that same style of holster. Most of these have just I picked them up in trade or I've had them for years. Usually if I get one in a trade I just keep it throw it in the box and use it as a you know as trade uh you know, capital for you know, another trade or if I, you know, so, um, well, I'll kind of go through a few different ones that we have, at least what I have here, um, and tell you about, you know, what's out there, what, what's the main use, um, so me, myself, I, I carry inside the waistband around the four, four thirty position, um, I've carried like that for eight years, I'd say, it's going on about nine years now, and I've always, preferred a single clipped kydex all kydex holster like this here um i do a lot of dry fire training um almost every single day at least 20 to 30 draws i try to you, you should you should try to get you know dry fire is very important so i like this holster because it's easy to get the gun in and out not have to adjust my belt or take the holster out like you have with some holsters um, so I can do a lot of dry fire training with this holster. Um, it's also super easy to put on, you know, you just tuck it down in there, clip it, and it's good to go, you know, slap your gun in. If you take your gun out while you're driving, um, you know, when you're getting back out of the car, it's easy to slide back down in there. Um, and of course, it's concealed, which is the, the biggest concern uh, for me. I don't, I don't carry outside the waistband. It's not something i prefer but you know some states out there you, you you can't carry concealed unfortunately right now so you have to carry owb or outside the waistband um so there's many options out there now i don't have since i don't carry outside the waistband i don't have a lot of the nicer holsters you can get you can get nice kydex holsters like this um you know let's say um, kind of like this, but you know, from a reputable manufacturer, this is Sig Sauer's. This is one they send free with all their, a lot of their guns, like the 320 and the 250. Um, uh, it's just a basic to get you, get you started outside the waistband. There's no retention on this. Um, but you know, it'll get you, or, you know, I use these for, for at the range, you know, if I'm, I'm out at the, at the farm or something shooting and I, you know, want to, want to mess around. I have a holster like this, um, so like I said, I use the single clipped Kydex for inside the waistband. Um, your other options are you have appendix cuts, which um, you know this could be used for appendix too. But they have appendix uh, concealed carry holsters. I don't prefer that. I'm just as quick. I think myself coming out of the 430 position. Um, so this is what I prefer. But um, you can go appendix with a wing on it, which kind of you you see them on most holsters nowadays. A lot of holsters, it's kind of a new thing, um, and it comes off and it's just like a little wing. And when you put it down in your belt, it helps push the belt away from the holster, so it it, it doesn't kind of conform. It makes it more natural looking. Um, another IWB option is a what they call a hybrid holster. So that's a Kydex shell wrapped around a uh, leather uh, with a leather backer like this um this is a flashbang holsters they make uh they make all kinds of different holsters they have belly bands um and you know pretty much everything you can think of now this is for i think for a glock 26 it never really fit right so it's just threw it in the pile you know it's this is loose from so never actually carried with it um i don't i don't care for these they're they're hard to me, they're hard to get off and on, and you know, I, I put it on every day, take it off every day, so I don't want to sit here and have to fumble with something like this. I mean, it, it to me, a lot of people love them, and they are they're they're comfortable, I guess, but 
Um, to me, the pain of getting them on and off isn't worth the extra little comfort you might get. I don't see that, but a lot of people do. So this is an option, though. I mean, you, you might give this a try. You could try an Alien Gear. Uh, Crossbreed makes probably one of the best hybrids out there. Uh, so you can look into those. Those are two good companies. Uh, the Alien Gears are cheap, um, but you know a lot of people like them. I, like I said, I don't. That's my personal preference, though. Um, you know, who am I? So whatever you like is uh, is fine. So that's an IWB option. Next, I mean, you got another IWB option. This is a Safari Land. You can get these. You know, this has been my dual holster. This is for a, uh, an XDS four inch. But man, it holds almost. Every gun I want to throw in it pretty darn well. Uh, single stack, even some double stacks fit in there. But that's got a, a kind of a, a looped flip-up uh, J hook on it uh, that you stuff down in there. And it's a leather material. Um, so that's an option. You can get OWBs that are leather. And there's some sweet ones out there. There's some good leather workers that can make some nice leather holsters if you have a you know a nice 1911 you carry or something you know a barbecue gun and you want to have that badass holster to go with it um you know there's some there's some good manufacturers out there that can do some custom inlay and stuff like that um custom stitching and you can get them you know this is just a slide your belt through kind of thing this is another safari land uh for an ancient k usp 40 uh got that in a trade never used it um then you have, like I said, the outside of the waistband Kydex uh, style like this. This is a Phobos. This is probably one of the most popular holsters out there next to the Serpa. Um, and they, you know, they're cheap. They're like 20, 20 bucks. Um, you can get them in almost every gun store, every, you know, Cabela's, place like that have these. Um, I don't say I recommend them. I, I say if you're going to start carrying, you know the gun you're going to carry, go ahead and get you a decent holster, you know, shop it. Um, you know, I, I'm Michigan Holster Co. You know, I've had good luck with them. There's there's plenty of good names out there. Um, yeah, like I said, there's nothing wrong with Phobos. That they've obviously been doing something right, but they're, 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 they're decent starter holsters, I guess, if you needed something to get you started with. Um, and they have them, you know, paddle style like this. You can also get a clip like this that your belt loops will go through. Here you got another one this style. Uh, this is an old Blackhawk. You can get these at Walmart. Um, so we'll go to that next. This is a Blackhawk Serpa style holster. Um, so it has a retention lock on it. So basically you, you put your gun in, it locks in, and then when you're coming out for your draw, you push this button and it comes out. This holster style of holster has a lot of mixed reviews online i mean there's people that you know you know they uh you know even though it's a muscle thing they want to come out and they say that pushing the button then they there's been uh cases where somebody's fired the gun pulling out because they're having to push this button down i don't like the retention but i do believe if you're gonna carry outside the waistband completely open carry then you're gonna need some type of retention um whether it's button push or you know sliding the gun forward uh, moving the cant to release it um so that's your serpa style holster black hawk whatever this is another one uh, so you got the paddle style that just slides down into your belt and hooks up under or slides down into your pants and hooks up or this one's a more secure option that goes actually through the belt um let's see from there um that's you know the the basis of what i have here i don't like I said, I use I've been using the same carry method for for years, so I don't own a lot of holsters. I know what I like. If I ever switch my carry gun, I know the kind of holster I'm gonna buy. This is the IWB right hand with you know light bearing for the TLR uh, uh, stream light. Um, so let's see what else we got. There's there's belly bands out there. That's a another one that Flash Bang Flash Bang makes, um, and it's basically or a band that goes around your stomach and it's got a pocket in it. So for women, I know a lot of women use them. Um, they're great for that. If you lift your shirt, you can pull out from there. Um, or joggers, somebody that wears a, 
you know, sweatpants all the time, uh, basketball shorts, something like that. A belly band's a good concealable option. You can search belly band, and it'll, it'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, but you get the idea. It's a thick five or six inch piece of elastic that goes around your stomach, and it has a, a pocket that you can pull out from. Um, of course, there's uh, shoulder holsters. Um, if for some reason you have to carry a shoulder holster, um, I think it's more nowadays not a, a viable option for carry. Um, you know, but there's trainers out there that you know, can train you. If you, any way you carry, you need to you need to get some proper training um, and you know practice with what you carry. Like I said, I dry fire practice multiple times every day. And I've got my draw down pretty well, dry fire and live fire. Um, you know, I've I've got my time down pretty pretty quick from different scenarios too. So don't just practice standing and drawing and shooting. You know, move around um, if you if you have the space and the it's safe to do so. Um, I'm trying to think of any other uh, holster options out there that you know. There's a cross draw. I don't recommend that, but you know, so I guess if you're somebody that sits down a lot, you can get a cross draw holster. Um, ankle holster is not really the most, uh, feasible option, but, you know, if you're, if you wear a suit, something like that, or if you want a backup gun, an ankle holster is always there to, um, you know, for, for an option if you carry a small gun, like an LCP or something like that, um. And, you know, there's there's many options out there, but the best thing to do is try one, get the feel for it, and see if you like it. Um, what I like might not be what everybody likes, or what your state might not allow concealed carry. Um, I'm not sure what states out there are, are still buying by those laws. Um, uh, but I, I know there's at least a few of them. Um, but if I'm going to go for one, it's going to be a single clip, single foamy clip. Kydex holster, um, simple, uh, easy to use, easy to get on and off. There's there's no flaw in this holster in my mind. Um, for me, you know, that's it's what I prefer. But um, hope the video kind of helped. Maybe if you're having you know questions about some holsters out there and you're seeing a bunch when you're looking them up and don't know what to get, um, you know it's 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 something you just have to try. But um, if you're going IWB, I always suggest a single clip. Um, you know, look look up some good manufacturers out there. Get you a good gun belt. That's one of the the number one things you can have um, is a strong, sturdy gun belt. It it makes a difference. Um, so, um, I think that's it for this video on the shooter's table. Um, if you like it, go ahead and subscribe for new videos. Uh, and we'll uh, we'll be back with the next one.